Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to recognise the symbol for a thermistor. Then you should be able to explain how the resistance of a thermistor changes with temperature. And finally you should be able to describe applications of thermistors, for example in thermostats. In the last few videos we've been looking at resistors and here are the symbols for a resistor and a light dependent resistor. We saw that light dependent resistors have a high resistance in dark conditions and a very low resistance in light conditions. We find LDRs in devices such as these garden lamps, which come on automatically at night. In this video, we're going to look at another type of resistor which is extremely useful. It's called a thermistor, and I'm showing you the symbol for a thermistor here. Now, the key feature of a thermistor is that its resistance decreases if the temperature increases. And we can see that on this graph. When the temperature is low, the resistance of the thermistor is very high. However, at high temperatures, the resistance of the thermistor falls to a low level. Now, thermistors are really useful as thermostats. These are devices which turn appliances on or off depending on the temperature. Take a look at this circuit. We'd find a circuit like this inside computers. Now, computers have a big problem which is that they can get hot. To reduce this, computers usually have a fan. When the temperature of the computer rises, the fan switches on and cools it back down. So in this circuit, we've got a thermistor here, and that's connected in series with a cooling fan. Under cool conditions, the resistance of the thermistor is high, and that means it takes a lot of energy for the current to pass through the thermistor. Because of that, the potential difference across the thermistor is high, and remember that the potential difference is shared between components in series, so the potential difference across the fan is small. This means that the fan operates at a very low speed. If the computer gets hot, the resistance of the thermistor falls. Now it takes much less energy for the current to pass through the thermistor. This means that the potential difference across the thermistor is now very low, so more electrical energy is available for the fan. This makes the potential difference across the fan very high. So the fan powers up to high speed, cooling the computer back down. Now there are plenty of other examples where thermistors are used as thermostats. I'm showing you here an incubator for premature babies. Premature babies need to be kept warm, so the incubator contains a system to detect faults. If the temperature falls, then that's sensed by a thermistor. This causes a lamp to turn on and an alarm to sound. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the use of thermistors in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to recognize a symbol for a thermistor. Then you should be able to explain how the resistance of a thermistor changes with temperature. And finally, you should be able to describe applications of thermistors, for example, in thermostats.